Hello, Congressional Lab Competition. First off, I'd like to thank the wonderful people in your organization who helped me sort out under what district I was eligible to register. Everyone was incredibly nice and all of you are doing great work. I am super excited to see government actively promoting computer science in high school communities around the country, and I hope to see more of this in the future. I'd also like to give a big shout out to Congressman Rodney Davis for signing up to participate in this competition, and President Obama for mentioning computer science in the State of the Union. I created an app called Blue Skies for the brand new Apple TV platform. My app focuses on beautiful visualizations of current weather conditions through national radar, NASA satellite imagery, and global weather forecast animations of temperature, precipitation, surface winds, and relative humidity. As you can see, the first page of the app displays a custom national radar animation, along with a short and insightful text summary of the current weather conditions. Navigation through the app is entirely gesture-based. To move to the next page, just swipe on your TV remote. The stunning satellite imagery highlighted on this page is sourced from the NASA GOES project. On the large TV interface, it's awesome. I am currently simulating a user in San Francisco, but if you were on the East Coast, imagery would center on your location. If at some point I really want to see more than just a short sentence about the weather outside, swipe up. On the top of this page, I can see the current wind direction, what temperature it feels like outside, the humidity, the visibility, and the atmospheric pressure. Along the bottom, I display a brief forecast for the user's location for the rest of the day. If one clicks on the remote's touchpad, the text fades away in deference to a graphical visualization of the data. The chart portrays the forecast evolution of humidity, temperature, and precipitation expected over the next day. Now moving along, I will swipe the dock back into its previous position and navigate to the next page. Here, a weather geek like me can enjoy forecasts of surface air temperature and three-day accumulated precipitation for the next week. Also notice that the dock at the bottom of the page had switched to display a forecast for the rest of the week. Swiping again reveals the fourth and final page of my Apple TV app. This page showcases forward-looking data about surface winds and relative humidity, again over the next week. Just like before, swiping up the dock shows a much richer forecast data set for your location. Individual cards detail the forecast over the next week. And once again, clicking the remote transitions to a graphical visualization of the weekly forecast data for the user's exact location. And that's it. All the data in this app was sourced from the National Center for Environmental Prediction, the NASA GOES project, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the radar product was developed at the National Severe Storms Laboratory. Thanks for watching.